Well, the President came out here yesterday uh, in part to challenge the uh, growing uh, conventional wisdom among Republicans in Congress that uh, the sequester is somehow acceptable, uh, is somehow a useful political play for them uh, because the effects of the sequester on uh, average Americans out there would be uh, very negative. And he put forward uh, a proposal for avoiding that outcome while Congress continues to work on longer term deficit reduction. Uh, that's the sensible thing to do. You know, why make, why punish the American people because you haven't been able to achieve your ideological objectives through other means? Um, you know, they, they pass budgets that are wholly objectionable to most Americans. They didn't become law because of that, because they don't have the support of the American people. Compromise solutions have the support of the American people. Solutions that involve uh, some revenues through tax reform, the kinds of tax reform, closures of loopholes and cappings of capping of deductions that uh, supposedly Republicans supported a few months ago, but don't support now. Uh, and then combined with spending cuts and entitlement reforms, we can uh, achieve what has long been this President's goal and the goal of many others, which is significant deficit reduction on the order of $4 trillion over a decade uh, that would uh, put us on a fiscally sustainable path and allow our economy to grow and continue to create jobs.